Okay, here we are with the motor vessel Charles Strait flanking Brangier Point. Uh, flanking is the art of uh, you know letting the current make the turn for you, using the weight and the current of the river to make a turn. If a turn is too sharp or if the turn is, is too swift in high water conditions as it is now in this video, then we do what we call flanking. Uh, what you do is you slow your toe down, you back on it and slow it down until the toe is about at current speed. You drop it down into the bin and keep the stern of the toe, the, the part closest to the boat, closest to the point of the turn that you're going around. As you can see the current in the bend is where the, all the current is. You can see it running down that tree line back there. And as you can see, the boat has no wheel wash, so uh, the propellers are just engaged maybe, just, uh, and he's on straight rudder. He's just letting the current push that head around for him. He's trying to keep his the stern of the boat, stern of the tow, closer to this rock point where it doesn't get in the current. Because if the current starts hitting him on this side of the tow, then he will, uh, st the current will start pushing him further and further into the bend, and that's what he's trying to avoid. So as you can see here, he's kind of the, you know, just holding straight right there, and the current is hitting him on the starboard side of his toe, which is the right side, and you can see it's just pushing it around slowly. Flanking is uh, definitely uh, for pa with patience. And once the, the toe gets to about where it needs to be or it has a heavy swing, then he will come ahead on it to start picking up his headway to kill what slide that he does have and go on to the next turn. So he's, as you can see, he's already made a little over half of the turn and it's slowly coming around and we can start watching for some wheel wash anytime and we'll be able to see when he's uh, coming ahead on it. See how you see the difference in the water how, how you can see right here as I'm showing you the um, the current it's just running down that tree line over there this is Captain Kenny Wilson uh, performing this flank job here. And remember this distance here is from the bow of the boat to the head of the toe. The very furthest point is a thousand feet. That's just 320 feet short of a quarter mile. Each one of those barges there are 35 feet wide by 200 foot long. They are some 195s, but on average they try to, you know, they're all around 200 foot. So as you can see, he's five wide, 35 wide. And we ought to start to see he's got almost his whole turn made. As you can see, it's not it's not turning real, real fast. But look at there, here comes his wheel wash. He's got enough of his turn made that he's he's comfortable with the maneuver. I need to just do a look trying to see if you can see underneath this point on the left side of your screen the water is actually in what's called an eddy it's kinda hard to tell in the video but it's actually where the the water is coming around this turn so fast that it, it, it actually starts going up river now we're just gonna make a flyby here Again, this is the motor vessel Charles Strait, named after the founder of the Western Rivers, Captain Charles Strait. You can see here that I've got outlined, those are our face wires. Those are what hold us to the toe. 
look at all that rigging on the side of the boat for them boys to tote around. Captain Kenny did a fine job on that flank. And that's it, kids. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.